I hope you all have gotten enough sleep uh, because it's time for day shift. We got to talk about it. Let's go. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Club CXFM, brought to you by WeAreCritics.com, a place where we talk about movies, television, and pop culture. And if you're into that kind of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe key and that notification bell so you can be up to speed about everything that I talk about here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, of course, we have another one on the table to talk about. And this time, it is Netflix's original film, Day Shift, uh, starring Jamie Foxx, Snoop Dogg, Dave Franco, uh, Carla Souza, who a lot of you may remember from How to Get Away with Murder. We haven't seen her uh, for a while until she kind of pops up in this. Uh, and, uh, you know, before I talk about what I think about it, in good fashion, the clep way, I'm going to talk about what it is. Uh, Day Shift is a new spin on the vampire, vampire hunter uh, story type thing. Um, it's pretty much came out of nowhere like no one really was expecting this thing uh we saw a lot of promo just pop up and a lot of people were kind of feeling it because of course a lot of people love jamie fox um and a lot of people love snoop dogg of course so and you know dave franco he's not he's not too bad either but um when we saw this or when i saw this i was like huh i was immediately interested because i don't know it's just kind of cool to see jamie fox just kind of do something a little wacky um we've seen him you know, try serious stuff. We've seen him do more dramatic action. Project Power, for example, uh, which really didn't roll over well with a lot of people. I didn't hate it. Um, I thought it was pretty decent. I didn't think it was the best film, but it was watchable and entertaining. So to see him come back and do something that's a little bit more familiar with people, everybody loves vampires. Everybody knows vampires. Um, I'm kind of a tough critic on vampire movies, but we'll get into that later. But um, yes, this is Day Shift. Uh, Day Shift also is about a hardworking dad who uh, he comes across a situation where he needs to get some money really fast uh, for his family. And to do so, there is an underground ring of vampire hunters, uh, and they make money off of vampires um, in, in a very unorthodox way. I don't want to spill too much because I don't like to give away all the good shit, but I thought it was pretty cool and different. Um, along the way, he gets into a little bit of trouble uh, because he's f messed with the wrong vampire or vampires, I should say. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much Day Shift. Now, what did I think about Day Shift? Okay. God, I can't even lie, guys. This thing is very, very, very fun. Um, I wasn't bored at all. I was very pleasantly surprised with this movie. Not that, you know, Jamie doesn't do good work. More of a Netflix kind of thing. We know how their movies can be hit or miss. Um, they did very well with The Gray Man, even though it had mixed reviews. I, I'm, I'm also uh, predicting that this one may get mixed reviews as well, even though... It's pretty damn entertaining. There's, I really couldn't find anything wrong with it um, outside of the fact that it, it's very wacky, but in a way that vampire movies should be or like how Buffy the Vampire Slayer was, but still had a little serious tone, but was still great. I'll tell you what makes this film really, really good. Uh, the film is directed by J.J. Perry, who is one of the gentlemen who was part of the John Wick franchise. I believe he did three or four. I can't remember which one he did. And the writer of this film, whose name escapes me, also had did some writing in the John Wick, uh, uh, in John Wick uh, pot, I should say. They, they, they did a little work on Squad and John Wick. So, with that being said, the best part about this film is the action. Uh, the choreography, the fighting, the gun food, the shooting, that stuff is pretty, it's pretty entertaining. I'm not going to lie. Like there's a lot of, a lot of click clack going on, a lot of bang, bang. It's, it's, it's energetic guys. And it has this old school buddy cop vibe where you have, you know, the, the Jamie Foxx character. Um, what is his name in this film? It is a uh, bud, bud. He has like the weirdest Blonde, but but oh, it's escaping. I know it's Bud something, but but um, he has like this rivalry thing with his 
boss the way 80s and 90s movie, action movies were, the way Lethal Weapon was, the way Last Action Hero was. Um, and, you know, and then there's like a ride-along situation with uh, with uh, Dave Franco, which is pretty uh, entertaining, pretty funny. So it has its it has its fun moments. It's, like I said, it's not a drag, guys. The only, my only downfall of this film, um, the worst thing in this film to me, and, and I, and I, and I, I Take this with a grain of salt. I just, I'm not a fan of the villain. Um, the villain is uh, played by Carla Souza, who is from How to Get Away with Murder. And although she does very well at making me not like her and How to Get Away with Murder, because her character was, for those of you who have seen it, I don't know, she was a little annoying towards the ending of the series. Um, middle of the ending, I should say. After West Guy, of course. But um, she just doesn't really <clears throat> sell it for me in this. Um, it's a, it's very far fetched, and she does this thing because she's of Mexican descent, so she stretches her accent a lot in this, in a like Queen of the South kind of way. She's trying to boss up, and it's sometimes it's just like, whatever. I'm just going with it. I'm just going with it. But I, it, for me, it doesn't. It didn't work for me. Um, I would have liked to seen a villain with a little bit more, you know, stakes to it. But with that being said. Um, I like this so much that I wouldn't mind seeing another one. And hopefully, if that happens, uh, maybe we'll get a bigger baddie. You know what I mean? Like, I, I trust me, this movie is not perfect. It's not the best thing in the world. But I had a lot of fun, and I love the characters. Snoop Dogg's amazing. He does his thing. Um, uh, Dave Franco, oh man, he's like the MVP in this film. Like, he's fun. Megan Good is in this too. I totally forgot. Uh, Miss Megan Good is in this, and we haven't seen her in a little bit, and she just never ages. She should be a vampire, because her, she's up there with Paul Rudd. She looks the same, but she didn't roll bounce. Um, but she's in this, and she does she does a, a good job playing, you know, uh, the other half of, of um, Jamie Foxx's character, and they have a daughter and everything. So it, 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 it the storyline is what it needs to be to make it work, and I had a good time, guys. And girls you guys let me know what you think about um about day shift if you are excited to see this are you curious uh did it did the trailer excite you um yeah like a like like i said drop a comment like comment share make sure you subscribe and for more movie news television news and pop culture make sure you all check out wearecritics.com and i will talk to you all later peace